Oh my god, it's body pain. <laughs> decades. From corporate marketing to the creation of unique, whimsical characters, body painting is a versatile art form that has become more relevant than ever. Hi, my name is Nicole Hayes and I am a professional body painter in St. Petersburg, Florida. I began my body art career in the early 2000s. I was living in Panama City Beach, Florida, where there is lots of partying going on. We've got bike week, spring break. Florida truly is the perfect place to make a living as a body painter. In 2019, I had the rare opportunity to travel to Klagenfurt, Austria, and compete in the World Body Painting Festival. We are at the World Body Painting Festival, getting ready to start the brush and sponge competition. There's my lovely model, AJ Vaughn. Hi. We have six hours to paint. Here's my setup right here. And I'm ready to go. See you soon. The experience was truly one of a kind and something I will never forget. Due to the ongoing pandemic, the competition was held virtually last year. Though I was unable to compete in 2020, my goal this year is to enter four different categories in the second virtual world body painting competition. This documentary will show you what it takes to compete in the world of body painting. fake eyelash action here. Just a few minutes to shoot the final shots to send to the judges.
Nicole and Riot. What is the category today, Nicole? The category is creative makeup and uh, theme is fashion stuff. Okay. We are creating a female Rufio character um, with like an 80s color palette. Uh, assisting the photographer. Yep, we are all done on day three. Steven's taking our last shots today. And we got one more day to go. <laughs> Back 
back at home, the show must go on. Our company is providing entertainment for a big event at the end of August, and rehearsals are scheduled in between painting sessions. I also have a deadline approaching for another creative project. I am creating two candy-themed costumes for living tables that will be worn at a local event. This is silicone icing. Um, these are for the costumes for the beans and barler job. These look like real icing and I want to eat them. <laughs> Do not eat these though. <laughs> they would definitely not taste good. I just have like very limited time to get these costumes done. I mean, they still have to come over and try these on and make sure they work. That these wigs aren't just gonna like fall right off whenever they're serving the stuff to the people. So yeah, it's a lot. The first step for our body painting concept is the creation of a headpiece. This headpiece will be a replica of a 1920s Hollywood film camera. It will also have a working Kragzinoscope inside. Alright, so what we have here is a Kragzinoscope. It's one of the first uh, machines they used to simulate animation. Uh, we're about halfway done. We cut some mirror paper, put it around the actually the empty ribbon rolls from another project. This is the dowel rod I was working on earlier. We attached Lazy Susan hardware to the bottom, and this is going to sit inside the camera headpiece. We're going to have images around the outside. We're going to be covering this, and it's going to be spinning. So I want to, yep, that'll work. Okay, the finished headpiece. It's midnight, the night before the competition, and I'm so very tired. So tired. If you look back now, the cinescope is going. Very cool. We did it. How do you feel? Tired. Very tired. And I'm just, you know, drained. I just want to go to sleep. Okay, hey, let's go to sleep. We have eight hours to complete the body art design and get it photographed for online submission. My concept, the invention of the moving picture, showcases films that made movie history, from the very first kiss on screen to the very first science fiction film.
1878, Edward Newbridge invented the zapraxiscope, a predecessor to the film projector. Audiences were mesmerized by the device's ability to bring still images to life. Over the next several decades, motion pictures quickly evolved into what we now call movies. People all over the world craved the escapism that going to the movies provided. For a short window of time, audiences could leave their ordinary and sometimes unpleasant lives and enter into a world of carefree fantasy. As we battle a global pandemic, movies are more important now than ever. Despite lockdowns and rising cases, movies still bring us joy. This body art showcases a variety of important historical films, including The Kiss from 1896, the first kiss captured on film, Le Voyage dans la Lune, in 1902 it was the first science fiction film, Metropolis from 1927, the first science fiction film of feature length, Siren of the Tropics, 1927, featuring Josephine Baker as the first black woman to star in a major motion picture, and The Wizard of Oz. From 1939, it was the first commercially successful film in Technicolor. Contained within the headpiece is a working praxinoscope. This early animation device displays one of Moybridge's first series of moving images, The Horse in Motion. How are we doing, Nicole? We are doing finishing touches. Um, any spot that I see where I haven't um, completely filled in, or filling that in. Cool. But yeah. I shout out and then I'll promise I'll be done. Okay. Glitter, the finishing touch for any Nicole okay. Hayes body art. But of course, we all use glitter. So what do you have left to do? I'm doing a little more eyeshadow, and we're doing the headpiece and shoes, and we're good to go. And Very that's cool. It today. Malia has been an excellent model. Very patient. Yeah. How you feeling, Nicole? Good. We just got finished. I'm gonna do some finishing touches on her feet, and we're good to go. Yeah. So Malia, how does it feel? You fully body painted for the first time. <laughs> um, it's exciting, amazing. <laughs> I actually love it. <laughs>